Good morning, people. Well, yesterday I was just mowing the lawn, and uh, I was mowing the lawn, and I clipped a little stump. So, as you can see, I've done a little damage to the spindle. Completely broken just here. That's just totally nagged. You can't buy just the spindle housing. You have to buy the entire thing, you know, shaft and all. And the problem is, I see you on exactly the same. It's just cheap cast aluminium. I do have some solid steel plate and it's a hollow bar, which is uh, I can make a new spindle housing up. So that's today's job, make a new spindle housing. X marks the spot. Okay, just got to um, take the blade off the uh, shaft. Yeah, there's no spanner flaps on the shaft, the poor design in my view. But uh, to stop damaging the uh, spline on the other end of it, two bits of hardwood in there. And maybe we need to crank it up a bit more. Oh. Easier said than done, isn't it? Much easier said than done. Alright. Station bar. Gotcha. That's all right. So. Oh, 26 mil. Right. Okay, I'll take some measurements. We'll hear what we got. Okay, I'm just going to measure it off here, coming out 25.25 mil. Just make a mark all around. That's where my drill holes have to be. Okay, that's our drill mark. Yeah, we're better. There we go. That's within two thou. That's within two thou. It's good enough. 
So that was all my right. I'm going to take 1.7 off the end and turn the face up. Okay. Okay, that's our final length. Let's go sweep the bearing in there. Let's do a face coat on there to clean that up. Take that off. This one. Oh, it's been a very long hot day. That's right. Let's um, get the grass off. Yeah. What you see there is a depression. This is even pulled up and that's pushed down. Because when I've hit the stump, all that energy is going into, into there. Now, one of the reasons I made a bigger flange on our new uh, housing so it can come out further so I can get past that but I might try and bring some of this back this way with a hammer from the other side I might just try that first before we mount this but uh, the idea is because this is wider it's going to sit out here like so so it's not affected by that dip and these bolts if anything will pull that dip back up so we're uh, we're out further on some more level steel. So <clears throat> this this here's only this thick, same thickness as this. It's only uh, yeah, not even th oh, maybe three mil, maybe for two and a half mil. So anyway, that's the plan. So I'll, uh, I'll flip it back over and give it a uh, a tickling with the hammer, try and bring it back a bit, and then um, flip it back over and put the bolts in and put the blade back on and see if I can't get a level across the blades to make sure they're sort of, you know, doing the right thing, roughly right, close to right. Tickle. <clears throat> put that there. Yeah. My well, uh, feeling is that it sort of went sort of pretty good to straighten back up again. So anyway, let's get that other bolt. And that's always the last one that shit. Okay. Now oh, that's right. The bolts fit in the holes. Uh, okay. Um just before I put those nuts on and tighten them up, I want to get that blade on. And, uh, make sure it's not bent. It's got a nick out of it, but I'm not going to live with nicks. Spins. Jeez, they don't move much room, do they? It's uh, 
I have a slight bend in the blade. That tip there is actually slightly higher than this one. So that blade might be a little bit bent. Now, what's this one look like? See this there? It's there, yeah. If anything, I'd say that tip on this blade's bent down. There's a big chunk out of it too, that's probably what took most of the hit. But, um, yeah, this, side, this side's alright though, that's, that sort of matches quite well, height wise. Hmm, there's not much in it. I mean, I don't think the grass is going to notice, it's only me, it's going to notice. Alright. I reckon go forth and tighten it all up. Oh, of course, can't get my hand in there. Alright, I'm going to have to turn the camera off and move it. Alright, that's bolted in. That's uh, spinning alright. It's doing its thing. Well, I think it'll be fine. Now, just going to turn it back over the other way. Undo a few guards and bits and pieces there so I can get the new belt on. Which this belt got chopped as well. Good thing I had a spare one of them. And then uh, I can get the deck back on the mower. Yeah, after I've tightened that uh, blade down and the pulley on the other side, you could tighten both of them together. That blade there, and that perfect tight there, within a couple of mil, there's not much in it, so I think it'd be, I think it'd be good enough. Sure, it'll be good enough. <clears throat> I think that's maybe the blade's got a little bit of a, a whoopee in it, not much. Next time I change the blades on it, that'll fix that problem. Yeah, to change the, the belt, you take this guard off, you will take that retainer off, take that retainer off, and normally you take that one off because it's bent, so I'm just going to hammer it back when I put the new one on. So, anyway. Deck to lift. This deck on this actually is good. It lifts out front ways, like um, at 90 degrees, so you can change the blades or um, clean it or whatever. It's a good design. It's a. Uh, I'm not definitely not endorsing their product because it's not strong enough. <laughs> Maybe um, there's a country clipper. Is the, the name of the mower. Uh, it's quite a good mower. Most grass. That's what it's there for, I guess. Okay, um, reattach it to the mower. So I'm going to have to bring the mower in here and move a couple of things so I can get in here and uh, we'll hook him up. Okay, the uh, deck's back on the mower. As I said, so you can lift it up like that. Um, yeah, and, uh, so you see, it all just lifts up at the front. So you can service the blades and whatever. And then you just drop it down and put the belt on and away you go. Okay, all I've got to do is uh, go and find the grease gun, whack some grease into that new hub, and uh, we're good to go. I'll finish what I started yesterday. 